what is happening guys this next project I'm going to show you is something that I use for bank fishing that was inspired by one rods um, sub tournaments that I used to have back in back in the day so um, me and my son fished one of them that he had at Lake Elkhorn and I was expecting him to have another one but it, then he got so big that too many people would show up on because it was pretty crowded that day too but uh yeah, this one was inspired by him so I made this bank fishing cart I called it a live well cart because I built it around a cooler that I use for a live well and uh let me set that up then you can probably can see it behind me down here on the ground and I'll put some still pictures and stuff like that in the script not in the description at the end of the video so you can see how it all comes together and I'm not going to explain every little bit because it's a lot of pieces to it I'm just show you what I used. you can use different sizes and um, it's pretty neat so let me turn this camera around and we'll get right into it all right all right guys so this one right here is my live well cart as you can see it's made out of three quarter inch pieces except for the the um, rod holders here this one has actually got a cap on it designed to hold a net if you want but it, it can hold a rod it's got four of them two on each side and back here I put a cutting board cheap cutting board that I got at like a dollar store cut it down the size bolted it on the back for um, one of those frayable or other aerators for the cooler and I'll show you how that works this is just my little bath pro one but it fits in right just like that of course the fray bill one goes down in here and if i can't find another one of them i'm just going to move this up to here and it holds it in there so it doesn't jiggle around and fall out but it, it does work and i have seven inch wheels on both sides with an axle with the rod that goes through it's a half inch rod and um the handle part is pretty interesting this is made from one inch to three quarter inch so it just sits on there so you can so you swing it and you can walk it around now if you're asking yourself does that bottom piece get in the way that actually comes out I'll show you in a couple minutes but that comes out so while you're in transit it, this doesn't skim along the ground like that and then you just put it back on when you want to stop but the cooler itself fits in this way As you can see it just does fit inside and this is built wide enough where the handles will come up still got the little the hatch where once you put the water in you can throw your fish inside and that stuff is uh, the culling system that I made if you want to see how I did that um, comment below as you can see I painted this one all of it with uh, camo colors it's just so it would I don't know I just got bored but as you can see here's where the live well that's where the hose should go and then I drilled a hole and it goes right in through there I think the pipe still no it's not in here it's still on the other one but comes through that hole over there and then there's my fill line and of course this is what I use to fill it up this pitcher and uh, yeah it works pretty good I've used it a couple times and of course that's cool right there I use on that piece if you saw my John boat tour so it's, it sits perfectly inside there 
when I use it on my John boat. But let me get the rods set up. I took a couple still shots, but let me put some rods and the, the net in there so you can see how that looks. Okay, so here it is with some up, three rods and the net. I have two bait casters on this side. And on the other side I have the net and one of, one of my spin, spinning rods. And uh, this is a pretty neat little setup on here. Put a little pool noodle on here so in case I drop it, it won't sink. And a, a GoPro mount so I can uh, film a little bit of dipping like when you go to net the fish, if I can ever remember to set that up that way. So hopefully I can remember all this. But yeah, this is a pretty good setup. If you do a lot of bank fishing, this might be a pretty good thing for you. Like I said, on all the other ones, you don't have to use like three quarter inch pipes, whatever size, because you're going to have to build it around your cooler. Because as you can see, the cooler doesn't have really much room on each side. I built it that way so it would be, wouldn't flop all over the place. It may have a quarter inch, actually don't even have a quarter inch, long wise, but width wise, it's got about a quarter inch on both sides. But it's been pretty good to me. Um, I'm gonna put this on a GoPro on a tripod so you can see me walking it around and how I get that little uh, peg out for the stand. So hold on for that. I'll be right back. Welcome back guys. The rods are loaded, net's loaded. I'm going to show you, before I kill this dog, I'm going to show you how I transport it around with this peg in here. Just lift up the handle. Pull it out. Either hold it in your hand or stick it in your pocket. Now there's nothing dragging against the ground. So it will get stuck on anything. And when you get where you're going, you simply take and put it right back in the hole. And usually the weight of it will push it back down. So there you have it. So this is a pretty effective little live well cart that I made for your cooler. If you want to make one, you'd have to, you know, do your own measurements and build it around. Cause I don't even think they make this cooler anymore. But I like it because it had the little trap door in it where you can just slip fish in without having to open the whole thing right away until you're, you know, you absolutely need to. But if you want to build it, by all means build it. You don't need to use the same size pipes I use, just if you have them laying around. Or, you know, if you just want a little bit different size, doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, this should be it for this video. Just keep an eye out for whenever I post something. Hit subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that little bell button so you know when I put a video out. And I'll catch you on the next one, guys. You take it easy and have a good day. Thanks for watching.